morning. It's Friday, so I'm uh, I'm up early because I want to make sure that my mind and my energy and all that stuff is uh, nice and centered. Everyone's still asleep in the house. Don't say anything. Good day, Friday. Fridays are busy days. We, I, I told you this before, and it's kind of kind of weird how my week has this massive drop on Mondays because it's my day off, um, and then it kind of builds up towards Sunday. Uh, it's almost like somehow my schedule, my students, my clients know exactly how my week. It, is structured it's kind of funny so it is Friday uh, my first student is in 40 minutes it's now 10 22 a.m. Uh, I took the family out in the morning it, the, the weather is dreadful though um, so it's England for you it's raining and snowing and everything at the same time here we are at the Academy ready to rock and roll first lesson is in 10 minutes, give or take. Let's do this. And they practice, man. They practice hardcore, don't they? My students are constantly practicing. I'm very, very happy. It's now half past 2 p.m. Next student is in 30 minutes. Uh, how many do I have left today? Four. So two lessons down, four to go. And kind of busy Friday, kind of. So in this half an hour that I have uh, now until my next lesson, I will just sit down, try to read a bit, just chill so I can be focused for uh, my lessons today. I feel kind of slow right now, so maybe I need a cup of coffee. Let's do that. Three down, three to go. Almost done, let's do this. Hey! All right, five students down, one to go. I got a longish break now, because my next student is only at 7 p.m., which is good, because I had many, many lessons almost pretty much back to back. So now I'm just chilling, I'm practicing a bit, I'm getting my double pedal workout down. Um, still struggling a lot with, with this double pedal thing. Let's talk about what I've been working on lately, what I've been working on outside the drums. Um, and also I want to share with you who's my drummer of the week. Okay, first I need a cup of coffee. So lately I've been working fundamentally on two things. One, I'm working on my double pedal as much as I can with the time that I have free during the week. Um, so I'm working through rudiments, still building up some strength and stamina, endurance I should say, uh, in my left foot. The other thing that I'm working on is my bass drum precision. Not so much speed, and this is just uh, related to the single pedal, but I'm working on getting my doubles to be a little bit louder. So once again, just I guess building more control and endurance, this time focusing on my left foot. 
Alright, so that's pretty much what I'm working on lately, just bass drum. I'm still going through rudiments and stuff like that, but uh, mainly that. Now, who's my drummer of the week? My drummer of the week is Clyde Stubblefield. Alright, so if we don't know who Clyde Stubblefield is, what? How? Who is Clyde Stubblefield? Clyde Stubblefield was a drummer for James Brown for many, many years, alongside John Jabo Starks, and this man is a pocket player, and his pocket is deep. Um, he could literally fit the whole James Brown band in his pocket, if you know what I mean. Literally. So, if you've never heard of Clyde Stubblefield, here's a clip. <laughs> Just give the drummer some. Yeah. Hopefully YouTube will not take this video down because I used that clip. Um, hopefully, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I'll just try and then uh, if, it, if, it, if it happens, it happens. Whatever. I would definitely recommend you guys to uh, look up Clyde Stubblefield, research him. If you are a drummer, you have to know who the legendary drummers are and were. As my friend Ugo Danin says, you can't make history without knowing history. I could not agree more. That mentality that, uh, oh, that's in the past, who cares, is uh, what makes you not play well. Because you don't know what you're trying to do came from. So you can't deconstruct it, you can't break it down, because you know no history. So look him up, he's an absolute legend. I absolutely love his slow groove pocket playing, it's just very deep very meaningful. I think this is a word that drummers don't use enough. Meaningful. Why do you play the notes that you play? Often I ask my students uh, during our lessons, uh, why did you play that fill? And they look at me and they say, I don't know. To which I reply, yeah, it shows. So make sure that your drumming is meaningful. Don't just speak gibberish, say something. So that's what I'm up to these days. In the meantime, it's almost 7 p.m., which means my uh, next student is either on his way or outside waiting. Let's have a look. So far, there's no one there. And that's it, fellas. It's pretty much eight o'clock. Another long day of lessons. Uh, I've been here for roughly, what, nine hours? Nine hours, that's pretty solid. So tomorrow we start super early. So tomorrow is not gonna be one of those days that I can come in like today. I left the house at uh, 10 a.m. or something like that. Um, oh well, that's the price to pay when you are on a mission, isn't it? And, uh, <laughs> Check out this incredible weather. Horrendous. All right, let's pack and let's go home. All right, on my way home, I'm waiting for a very important phone call um, from my next guest. I can already tell you that uh, my next clinic is going to be on December 14th and we are going, well, we're going to discuss linear drumming um, and coming up with creative drum parts even when the environment, the musical context is not the most uh, mainstream. That's going to be December 14th and tomorrow I will announce who's my guest clinician uh, that, who's gonna host this clinic with me so I'm excited about that uh, I can tell you that this is someone who's been at the Academy before so I guess now I'm just um, recycling I, I've built this network of educators and now we, we are gonna see them coming back every now and then to 
both reinforce their ideas and concepts and also to introduce new ideas that they might be uh, you know thinking about working on etc etc so i'm excited about that um i'm very excited about 2017 when it comes to my own personal business and my personal brand uh, the next book will come out definitely next year and I have a couple of other things planned including a couple of video courses for teachers uh, so I'm excited it's a lot of work it's uh, there's no there's literally no rest for the weekend I might need to change my schedule a little bit next year as in like teach less I, I have to somehow find time I mean I can just work 21 hours a day I would like to but I can't because you know I would die and then I couldn't be able to work you know like decisions right last time I checked Louis was still awake it's now 10 to 9 p.m. and I'm still on my way home it seems like the, my life is this isn't it just work 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 uh, what are you gonna do I'll see you guys tomorrow take care